The Aeronautical Development Agency has released a request for quotation, and the work package involves AMCA Internal Weapons Bay Dynamic Response Analysis, under which an investigation will be conducted on the dynamic simulation technology of Internal Weapons Bay opening and closing in a high-speed wind tunnel, and dynamic analysis of its operating mechanism to store hold and drop weapons. The work package also involves flutter analysis of full AMCA aircraft with external stores as well as vibration analysis. Flutter is a dangerous phenomenon encountered in flexible structures subjected to aerodynamic forces, and document reveals that the entire work package will be conducted over nine months duration by two personnel. Indian defense startup Red Dawn Systems have successfully carried out the first test of its barrel launched loitering munition. It features encrypted communications with real time video transmission, and carries a warhead of 1.5 kg to conduct strikes on terrorist hideouts, vehicles, and ammunition dump at 30 km range. It can also be launched in swarms to overwhelm enemy defenses. The next test will be from multi-barrel launcher to demonstrate multi-barrel launch capability. The DRDO plans to test the quick reaction surface-to-air missile system in April, as it has incorporated minor technical changes that have fixed a performance shortfall discovered during previous developmental trials. The changes were suggested by the Indian Army, after technical glitches in its four-walled 360-degree coverage on board radars failed to detect helicopter at minimum range due to elevated angle. The DRDO has begun work on developing a full-spectrum signals intelligence pod for medium-altitude long-endurance UAVs. The lightweight signals intelligence pod will be mounted as an external load, that will be equipped with advanced receive and transmit capabilities to support an array of mission profiles, to allow a deep look in contested and denied environments. The DRDO developed 155mm 52 caliber mounted gun system has completed all internal trials, including mobility performance and standalone internal firing trials, and the DRDO will start user-assisted firing trials with the Indian Army in June, during which the focus will be mostly on the demonstration of the shoot and scoot capability of the mounted gun system. A hybrid Pinnaker dual multiple rocket launcher was showcased at Indian Army School of Artillery. The hybrid Pinnaker dual rocket system can carry six 122mm rocket that has a maximum range of 40 km, and six 214mm caliber rockets like guided Pinnaker that has a range of 75 km. The dual rocket system will reduce the need for having a dedicated 122mm caliber rocket launcher and also reduce training for the crew that can operate both rocket calibers. The CEO of Brahmos Aerospace has said, that work is underway on the air-launched Brahmos NG missile, and the trials of the air-launched version will begin in late 2024. Brahmos Aerospace will unveil the finished missile within two years, and it would take a year to start production, and the air-launched Brahmos NG will be available for integration on fighter jets by mid-2026. Apart from Indian Air Force, Brahmos Aerospace will also offer this version of the missile to the Russian Air Force. The Defence Ministry has signed a 2,585 crore rupees contract with Larsen and Tubro to procure 41 sets of modular bridges for the Indian Army. The modular bridges will replace the existing manually launched medium girder bridges and will have advantages such as increased span, less time for construction, and fast mechanical launching and retrieval capability. Nyomu Advanced Landing Ground in Eastern Ladakh region is currently restricted to Chinook and Apache Attack Helicopter and C-130J Super Hercules aircraft, and as per latest reports, India has started upgrading the strategically important advanced landing ground with a 2.3 km runway extension, that will support fighter operations by frontline aircraft Su-30 and Rafale, 
for both defensive and offensive purposes.